What are these things? And what are they used for? Stick around. A curl spring, also known as a helical spring, is a mechanical device which is typically used to store energy and subsequently release it to absorb shock or maintain force between contacting surfaces. They are made of an elastic material formed into the shape of a helix which returns to its natural length when unloaded. Let's talk about that. Coil springs, in this case, are C coil springs. They come in different sizes, different colors, different variations, and uh, they all have a purpose. I mean, the coloring on the springs determine the spring rate that you will be using. You know, you get a spring chart and it'll actually go through and tell you exactly what color does what. You know, certain manufacturers, they'll tell you if it's a front spring, a rear spring, and the wire diameter, the coils, the length, the rate and pounds, all good stuff. So we'll talk about the first definition uh, is a mechanical device which is typically used to store energy and subsequently release it to absorb shock. That's pretty simple. All it is really, um, the way it stores energy is when the weight of the vehicle is on it, it's storing energy right now because the spring is compressing. When you hit a bump or something like that um, and you have to extend your suspension, it actually releases energy. And then it comes right back, which goes to the uh, the last sentence there. They're made of an elastic material formed into the shape of a helix, which returns to its natural length when unloaded, like you just saw. So we'll go ahead and use the Yeti as an example. So when the weight of the vehicle is sitting on it, the energy is stored. You hit a bump, the energy is released. The car comes back down, absorbs a shock goes back to where it was and the energy is stored again for your next bump all right so let's look at some of the stiffer and softer setups on an actual shock so here I got a shock off my tracks slash and it's a very stiff setup I mean you can almost see that it's very stiff I actually tried this and ran it and <laughs> it was not the best it was always Never never had any stored energy, so it was a very, very rough ride. Here, this is the uh, shocks on my Axial Wraith. I actually bought soft springs for it, put a very thin shock oil in so it would cycle fast. I did this for crawling. Not really good for any other kind of driving. We got the stiff spring, and we got the soft spring set up. Now, what I typically like to use these days is something right in between the two. And we'll talk about that, and I'll explain why. Okay, so back to the Yeti. These are the stock springs. They're very, very soft springs. And we actually get cruising around with this thing. The Yeti, the rear was just squatting. I mean, it was almost sitting on the bottom of the bump stops on the shocks, which is not good because when you hit a bump, there's no stored energy there to absorb the impact, which makes your car handle like crap. And it's the same when the spring is too stiff. You have no stored energy because all your energy is wasted and it's just too stiff of a spring for the vehicle. So let's look at how I got the suspension set up on my Yeti now, which I'm pretty happy with. I probably went through three or four sets of springs. And what I do is I put the springs on, I settle the car, and I'll actually lift up on the chassis of the vehicle to make sure I have some stored energy or up travel in the shock and the spring. Then I set it back down, let it go, make sure everything's sitting nice and pretty and it's holding the weight of the vehicle at a decent height. Cycle it a few more times to make sure it's nice and smooth. And you can always lighten up the load or tighten up the load with your preload screws or some shocks use preload clips. You know, this is pretty much just fine tuning here. So once you find a spring you like and you're happy with it and you really think it'll work well, this is when you start your fine tuning. This particular setup on the Yeti, I was very, very happy with. Now let's go over some other reasons why you should change the springs on your RC. Certain things like the vehicle gets heavier, 
you know, you um, you put more metal on it, you put your titanium links on it, you put aluminum steering boxes on it, you put metal parts on it, you know, you put bigger wheels and tires on it, a bigger speed controller, a heavier motor, so pretty much your car gets heavier. The more stuff you add to it, the car gets heavier. And it starts to sag and droop and it just starts to look silly and it does not handle very well so when you start your car starts getting heavier yeah it's probably time to think about some new springs you know so it can support the weight of the vehicle much better now these are pretty basic shocks i put on the wraith here i am actually still messing around with the suspension I, like constantly every time i take the wraith out i am constantly changing shocks shock oil springs you know locations of the shock you know orientation of the shocks and i'm still kind of messing with it i mean i go back and forth back and forth back and forth but i'll figure it out one of these days i mean i got lucky with the yeti and i got that one set up pretty well right off the bat but that's it guys um that's that's pretty much all i got for you i hope you liked the video i hope it helped you guys and uh thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll uh i'll catch you guys later